My name is Michelle Dietrich and I'm a makeup artist. I've done makeup on a lot of celebrities. Pam Anderson, Kanye West, Benny Kravitz, Cynthia Nixon. There's a big misconception that I could never do that look on the runway and you absolutely can't. Everybody can and you'll play to your best attributes and I can show you how to do that. So we've just finished our dramatic eye look, which we paired with our previous summer bronze look. So now we're going to make this look a little bit more dramatic and show you how to add individual false lashes into your look to just create that extra je ne sais quoi. One of the keys to doing individual false lashes is the glue. Duo is surgical adhesive that is favored by any makeup artist anywhere because it's easy to use, it's inexpensive, you can find it at any drugstore, and it works. When you're doing the lashes, individual false lashes or regular lashes, one of the key tips is to not use too much glue and to use tweezers. So. Here on a little metal plate I've put some Duo um, and it's okay if it kind of starts to dry a little bit because the gummier it is the more easily the lashes will adhere and that's what we want. So um, it's best to use a flat tweezer and it will be easy to grab them off here. So they have a, a little knob on the end and I'm just gonna get a tiny little bit of glue, literally like the tiniest bit will work. And if it doesn't, it comes off, you do it again. But to get a ton of lash glue on the top of your lash line is not cute. It's gonna mess up your makeup and it's not going to help you in any way. So less is more in everything. Just go ahead and start on the outside of the lash. And you wanna make sure that you get it basically right in your lash line, right on the very top, like where your lashes are. You're not gonna take it above. Um, you're gonna try and work them right into your lash line so that they look natural, although they're gonna be faux. You want them to blend in as best as possible. So just the smallest amount is necessary and work it right. So we're gonna do them side by side. So the one I put over here, I'm gonna put in the same spot over here in order to make sure that we're doing them evenly. And work it right into that lash line. So in between each lash applied, you want to kind of check them out and see, because if you do them all, you know, one right after another, maybe you put too many. So start slow, take it easy. And that looks really pretty right now. That's just that alone adds something, but we're gonna do more. Just a tiny little bit. And start on the outside and work your way in, staggering them. And they don't have to be exactly perfectly placed on both sides because lashes vary and you wanna keep it natural looking. That's part of the reason that we're doing the uh, individuals because you can you don't see that line of plastic going across the eye with, like you do with a regular band of lashes. Um, and you can kind of place them wherever you want. So if you just want to accentuate the outside of your eye, you're, you're just gonna place extra dramatic on the outside. It'll also make your eyes appear further apart. If you put a bunch all the way across, sometimes it can make the eyes look too close together. Okay, so just a tiny little bit. One by one. And actually each application has about three lashes in it. If you want to cut them down or cut into them to make them more sparse, you can do that too. I'm not going to because we already have this nice dark look going on and I want the drama. But if you want to and you want to do it with a more natural look, you can use these. But you can also cut into them and don't be afraid of them. You know, you can't, you can do it. So. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of glue. And working it. And I'm gonna take this one even out a little bit further on the edge than I did from the very first one to give that extra 
punch. And then I'll do the same on the other eye. And go ahead and open for me. Check that out. I mean, it's gorgeous. It adds the extra drama, but it still doesn't look crazy. Um, and now I'm just going to finish with a tiny bit of the purple mascara that we used before on the bottom lashes, and your look is going to be done. Ready to party. So go ahead and look up. Be careful when you're doing the bottom lashes that you don't want to make them look too heavy. But we can always brush it out after. And that is your gorgeous dramatic eye look with individual false lashes applied and bottom mascara.